I have just sold the shop. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have literally just left a meeting with Gemma, who will be buying the shop. <sighs> All the emotions. I'm glad it's going to her. If anybody is going to have it, I'm really glad it's her. I've been thinking about this for for a while, and just didn't make sense. And then the pandemic, and now it just feels like the right time. I literally just shook hands on moving on from something I created from nothing five years ago. And that's a weird feeling. I'm actually really excited. I'm excited what's next for me. I'm excited what's next for sewing days without me. Slightly terrifying <laughs> that I'm going to be technically unemployed, but um, I won't be. I'll be self-employed and I've got so many other projects going on. And I'm going to be working on it the next few months before you guys even know about them. You'll know about them now. But right now when I'm talking and it's January. You, yeah, you won't know. And I've got to try and keep this a secret for six months. <laughs> it feels like the right time. But it's a lot. I know sewing days is in very good hands. <laughs> I am so excited though that I started a business at 27 from literally nothing, literally not a premises, no customers, no social media, no products. Like I literally invented this whole thing. I started that at 27 and after five years, I have kept it going through a global pandemic, built a community and sold it for a profit. Like well done me like I'm not very good at selling myself I'm doing a good job but like that is an amazing thing to be able to say so I've now got a lot of work ahead of me trying to build a business and keep one running <laughs> and I hope I'm not gonna let anything slip I don't want you guys to have any idea this is coming until it does also until the contracts have I's dotted and T's crossed like I just, just don't want to jinx it but yeah as of the 26th of June, 2022, it will no longer be Louise from Sewing Days. Weird. So it is the 1st of April and I've just done the last load of workshops right up until the day I leave. Um, you guys still don't know that I'm even leaving and it feels very strange that I am slowly doing the last of everything and I can't even let you guys know that I'm doing it not yet anyway it's about a month until we're going to announce it so um yeah all of the emotions I know it's the right decision but the closer I get the more I'm uh I'm so excited about what's next for me and I'm so excited about what's next for sewing days but um it does feel weird that after five years I'm never gonna do these things again well never say never but for for the foreseeable future, I won't be planning any workshops at sewing days. That doesn't mean workshops won't be happening, of course. That just means that I won't be in charge of making them happen. So yeah, I've just downloaded it and finalised it and uh, yeah. So I've just recorded the video of the announcement. I've got a bit overwhelmed. I've known for a long time, like I said, about this coming. As you can see, I've been working on it since January. The closer it's got to me telling you guys, the more I feel like I might be disappointing you because you put your faith in me as a business. And now I'm like, thanks, but bye. And I know none of you are going to think that. And I know that I'm probably going to get lots of really nice comments and people saying things like, it's sad, but you got to do what you got to do. But... Yeah, I feel like I'm pulling the rug out from under your feet. And I have got to do what's right for me. I've always wanted the business to work for me, not me work for the business. At the moment, it's Thursday, and I'm posting the announcement video tomorrow, which is Friday. I know that you are going to see this. And although I've been telling a couple of people face to face, I've been playing it off, and I am very excited. And it is going to be amazing. 
from me for so many days for Gemma for you guys it's gonna be so many more exciting things because now there's two of us who can give you the same amount so Gemma can be here running the shop doing the things giving you guys everything you need and then I can be a face of a different side of crafting and like I said come back and teach and you're not getting rid of me I'm not walking out one day never to come back again but yeah saying it out loud to hundreds of people and I'm nervous. I didn't think I'd be nervous. I thought I'd be like Billy Big Balls and be like, yeah, I'm doing this. It's going to be amazing. I'm going traveling. And yes, I feel all of those things. But right now, it's big. I think I need to go and have a cry. Okay, so the video just went live. And my emails have sent. My Facebook and Instagram posts have gone telling you guys the news and um i'm terrified <laughs> i'm heading to london tonight so i'm going to turn off my notifications and look at them in the morning although that's the plan i'm pretty sure i'm probably going to be looking at them all the way on the train i don't know how you're going to react and i'm nervous and i've had butterflies in my tummy all day and i've hardly eaten anything so um yeah oh <laughs> it's done it's out there now i can't i can't do anything about it everybody's gonna know Today's been like the last normal day that I have in the shop before everybody finds out because I know after today everyone's going to be talking to me about it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, Louise from Sewing Days here. So, it's my last week. I'm actually surprisingly excited. I wasn't really sure how I'd be feeling at this point, but I think over the last sort of five or six weeks, my emotions have been like this about it. The big move around has helped because it's helped me sort of separate myself from the business a bit more because I'm leaving something that already has Gemma's stamp on it. But it is now Wednesday and my last day is Saturday. So tomorrow we have our all day social stitch. Friday is a normal day for me. And then Saturday is my last day and we're also doing an all day social stitch. So I thought I'd bring you along for my last few days here at Sewing Days as owner and uh yeah we will together figure out how this week's gonna be as always thank you guys for subscribing to the channel popping into the shop buying online and for all the support you've given me that will allow me to do something new in the future it is wednesday afternoon the shop has just closed i am doing my last commission over there somewhere may or may not be watching netflix while i'm doing it rhiannon is on her way over she is going to come and help me sort out the last few bits that i need to take with me so basically over the last five years what belongs to the shop and what belongs to me has kind of all got a little bit mixed together as you can probably imagine so she's on her way over we're gonna go through the stock room and i can take out anything that is mine that i need to and then tomorrow starts the beginning of my goodbye parties it feels weird but i'm not gonna get emotional just yet i think it'll probably be sunday if i'm honest also fast forward to me crying my eyes out saturday afternoon <laughs> let's get going that was a lot it looks so weird in here now. To you guys, it probably looks exactly the same, but it's like been de -louised. Nothing here now is mine. I'm really excited because I've got all the stuff in my car now to take home and I'm thinking, well, that would look good here and that would look good here and I've got all this extra fabric and that can go in the camper van. That would be great to start for the maker on the move. But yeah, it's weird. I think I'm cool with it. I think everything I'm fine with. Now I've just got to get some raffle prizes together. And we'll be ready for tomorrow. So I will see you in the morning. It is now Thursday morning. I'm getting ready for crafts and laughs all day. So we're going to have to get the cake out. And then I've not no idea how many people are coming today. I've got no idea if there's two people coming or 50 people coming. Um, but yes, it'll be really, really good. I've got some buttons to sort today. And yeah, a little bit of sewing. So it'll be a good day. Hello, it is now 2.45. The morning crafts and laughs ladies have just gone. So um, you can probably see the debris over here. So some of them are coming back later. So um, they've left 
crafts and things to be back once they've done the school run. It's actually quite funny. I was sorting buttons earlier and everybody got involved. <laughs> so you probably saw everybody had got a handful of buttons and we were all doing it together. So that was really, really nice. A, so I didn't have to do all of them, but also it was just nice to do it together. My next job is gonna be to stock up the cake because definitely didn't like that this morning. <laughs> it was a bit emotional this morning seeing everybody, but um, a lot of them coming back on Saturday. So it hasn't been too bad so far because I know I've got more time with them later. So it's not quite, the end yet but i'm gonna stock back up and then the rest of the ladies will be coming well these guys will come be coming back in a minute once they've picked up the kids from school the kids are coming as well and then um in a couple of hours everybody else will be here so time for me to have some lunch and then uh, carry on good morning guys so it is friday morning i'm really sorry i didn't do anything else last night it got mad it was really busy. We ran out of chairs. I had to take my spinny chair over so that there was enough seats. My mum turned up. A puppy turned up. I'll put a photo just here of adorable Coco who um, Amy brought in to see us. And she is so cute. So I'm very sorry, but puppy cuddles took over from YouTubing. Oh no, very professional. So today it feels very weird. I have no events going on today. Just business as usual. So I've got a few admin bits to do. A little bit of editing. Uh, a little bit of sewing. But today's just like any other day. Feels weird. Feels normal. Feels odd. So, tomorrow, we start all over again with all of the events. I've had so many people saying they're going to come and see me, so I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can. But for now, just carry on as normal. Very odd. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's Saturday morning. I can't quite believe it. 25th of June has been in my head for months. Rhiannon's here. Hi Rhiannon. Hello. Um, she's working while I'm faffing because that's how it, goes. How it works. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with an excuse. No, that's just, that's just what happens. So we are getting set up. We are expecting lots of people today. So it's gonna be really fun. Um, and yeah, last day, even though I'm coming back in a couple of weeks, but um, yeah i think i'm cool about it i'm just very excited i just want to get it done i'm also extremely tired today so would you mind stop clinking them cups sorry <laughs> but um yeah we'll get there we can get set up we're gonna get the cakes out and uh hope people come So that is it. It's now 4.45 and everyone's gone. It's just me. <laughs> I've sent everyone home. Lots of people here helping tidy up or whatever. I've sent everybody home so I can be here on my own to say to you guys, thank you so much. I can't begin to tell you. See, I knew I'm impressed it's taken me till 4.45 <laughs> to get like this. But thank you so much. It's it's been amazing. Thank you for all your support, for all your words, for all your mental encouragement, all of your money, <laughs> and for just allowing me to do this and love my job for five years. I've had the best time. I'm so proud of myself for um, achieving this. This was an idea on a piece of paper and I've made it happen. I've made it happen. I've lived it. I've not only have I made it happen, but I've made it so good that somebody wanted to buy it. It's just amazing. I just need to be so proud of myself and I am. I just, I've done so brilliantly. Um, I just need to move on and do something else brilliantly. So um, yeah, next adventure, here we come. I know this is completely the right decision and I'm so excited. It's just the end of an era, you know? <sighs> so the name of this channel is going to change to Maker on the Move in the next couple of weeks. The social media information will all be in the box down below if you want to follow along on Facebook and on Instagram. Just recorded my last Instagram story and on Instagram I always say hi everyone Louise from Sewing Days here and um I'm not Louise from Sewing Days anymore. Weird. Weird. 
No, I'm just Louise. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who's come to see me over the last few days. I know I've said it before, but the community here is the thing I'm going to miss about my job the most. It's the people, it's the teamwork, it's you guys. So thank you so much again for your support. Also, thank you for all the gifts and the cards and the messages and the comments and the well wishes. Um, I've read all of them. I've looked at all of them. So yes, even if I haven't responded, know that I've got it. And thank you very, very much. It means the world. But yeah, thank you. Thank you doesn't seem enough, but um, it's all I've got. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Have a good day, guys.